Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thanks for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the Microsoft Excel add-in to a desktop version of Microsoft Excel. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning Portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription-based content instructor-led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. To get started, first thing you need to be aware of is please make sure you have the latest version of Excel. And the reason I mention this is prior to creating this video, I had a slightly older version and the location of the insert, my add-ins, and all other ribbon menu items are different than described in the help documentation. Microsoft seems to be moving pieces here and there in different locations. So I had to update my version of Excel. Now to see that, you can go to account within Excel and then you can see your version of Excel right here. I'm on the latest uh, 2312. Okay, that being said, in a previous video, I also showed you how to download the manifest.xml file from your Click Cloud tenant. There are previous videos in this series that you can look at to set up OAuth and get that set up. In this example, I'm just gonna show you where I'm going to download the file to, to do what's called a sideload of a Microsoft add-in. So I'm gonna to navigate to settings in my management console and my Click Cloud Tenant. And then you'll see right around Excel add-in, I'm going to select my Excel OAuth setting. Now I set this up in a previous video as I stated, and then click download. Now, when I download it, you can save it to a temporary location. In this case, I'm just gonna to go to a drive that I have on my computer. I'm gonna create a new folder. And I'm gonna call it Excel Add-in. And I'm gonna save the manifest.xml file there. And here, I'm just gonna rename it appropriately because it already found another one in the previous folder. Now that's been saved. I'm gonna to navigate to that location, right click on the folder, select properties. Go to sharing and then click share. And then you would add users or groups who have access to the system. In this case, I already have permission because I'm the owner. And then just click share and then click done. Then I'm going to highlight this path. Press control C on my keyboard to copy that in my buffer and click close. And we're gonna use that in a moment. Now I'm gonna to go to Excel and in Excel, just so Let's go back to like a blank workbook just so you can see what I'm talking about. You're going to click on File and then go to Options. Navigate to Trust Center. Click on Trust Center Settings. And then go to Trust Add-in Catalogs. Here is where you're going to paste in the catalog URL and click Add Catalog. Make sure you click the Show in Menu checkbox. Click OK going to tell you you need to restart office so let's restart Excel and now you're going to go to your blank workbook now in a previous version it mentioned to go to the insert menu and there was something called my add-ins it's not there it's in the home area and then you're going to click on the add-ins more add-ins and then you're going to see an option for shared folder and then you're going to see click you select that, click add, and now you will have the Microsoft Excel add-in for tabular reporting available inside your desktop version of Microsoft Excel. And just a quick example, when you click on this, it will most likely log you in to your tenant. So here's where you're going to put in your credentials. And now we are in the environment. And then from here, it's similar to how I showed in the other videos. All right, so hope that was helpful. So you don't have to just use your Microsoft 365 uh, Excel online. You can also use a desktop version of Excel. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I'll do my best to accommodate and I will see you on the next video. Take care.